What's going on guys and welcome to the playoffs. I'm not going to waste any time. I don't need to bore you with saying, oh, we need to do this. We need to play right. We need to get past this round. We need to, you know, have this for breakfast. We don't need to talk about any of that. We know one goal and that is to win the goddamn Stanley Cup. I'm not going to bore you with anything. I'm going to go over a few comments and then we're going to hop right into this. I don't want to mess with anything. I just want to go straight in there and honestly hope for the best. Let's go. Let's read a few comments. I'm going to power through this because I know my end goal. I'm going to win a Stanley Cup and I am going to go out on the top with this team here in Japan. So the first comment comes from Joshua. He has this massive comment, but I'm going to break it down for you guys. He says Marcus Olin had 33 points in 60 games with the Islanders uh, and he had 10 in 19 games with us. So that's pretty good. Uh, 10 points in 19 games. It's not that bad at all, especially for a defenseman. He also says change Marty McIntyre to a playmaker because he really suits that role better uh, to putting him with Francis Esposito on the third line. So, you know what? I agree with you. He had a ton of assists during the regular season and he was a big part in Zach Sanford having 25 goals. He's had 25 goals the past few years and uh, you can see there he's got the shaggy hair. McIntyre number 83. Alright, so let's go ahead here and change him to a playmaker playmaker he does have like 87 or 88 passing so we're gonna go ahead and make him a playmaker I don't really like screwing around with player types but it does really make sense for McIntyre to be a playmaker so thank you Joshua for that comment he also goes to say that Sam Gagne is the goat and he should go out on top with the Stanley Cup I agree with you I agree now talking about Oland a little bit here Trenton says OEL for Oland was uh, the next Weber for Subban trade I agree uh, you get kind of an older guy for a younger superstar and uh, straight up one for one deal aside from the fourth round picks that really didn't have to be there. Uh, so that's cool. Thank you for that comment. And we got two comments here regarding our goaltending and that is going to be Oleg Trasambiev. This guy says you have to trade Oleg in the summer if he doesn't give 100% on the ice because uh, in his season he had a 3.05 goals against average. That's not very good. Sean Avery says Trasambiev sucks. He's just getting carried by his team. Trade him out after this year if he doesn't reach at least 88 overall. Now, I don't want you guys to hate on Oleg. I like Oleg a lot. He's been really good for us, but you know what? Maybe Sean Avery's right. Maybe he is just getting carried by his team. Uh, so I'm not quite sure what to do there, but we can't make any trades now, baby. We're in the postseason. We're doing this thing. We're doing it right. Uh, they still have Drew Doughty. You can see he's the captain there. And who is that? Number 88. That's Jaden Marco. 88. I think that's 88 anyways. That's could be Jaden Marco. I think he's number 88. I see the 8 there. Uh, I'm just trying to think what other player is number 8 because I have messed around with the captaincy a little bit and I think I remember seeing Jaden Marco be 88. So cool. Jaden Marco's black. I didn't know that. There you go, baby. One of the best young players in the world. Jaden Marco, number 88. There you go. Uh, so you can see here 96 offense, 90 defense, 88 goaltending, 92 offense, 93 defense, 87 goaltending. So let's see what kind of roster these LA Kings have. I don't know. And actually, Kopitar is gone. Kopitar retired. Um what else happened with this team quick's gone I know that for sure here's our lines obviously you guys know it uh, I am actually gonna go ahead and change Lilia Grin and Oland around there was a comment that said I had to do that so I'm gonna go ahead and do that let's view the opponents here so I guess we're gonna look at defense first Drew Doughty 90 overall 35 years old Jake Muzzin 86 overall at uh, 36 years old so a couple of vets there as their, as their top two defensemen uh, they got Michael Matheson 31 years old we got Eric Cern here, which was one of the big pieces that helped LA land Ben Bishop in the uh, trade deadline, but there he is, 27 years old, defensive defenseman, 79 overall. That's not that great, and a 83 overall. So I gotta give the defensive nod to us. Uh, let's go have and let's have a look at the goaltending. They have Matt Murray. Okay, so uh, the 86 overall, 30 year old, exact elite goalie Matt Murray with Linus Olmark in the cage. All right, very interesting. How is their forward? core looking. Max Pacioretty, wow, I wasn't really expecting to see him there. 36 years old. He, uh, how was his year this year? Did he have a decent amount of points? He had 69 points. So for a 36-year-old player, or 35-year-old, whatever he is, 36, that's not that bad. Uh, Keating as the first-line center, really? 
who is this guy? He's got really good shooting category. Uh, his senses are pretty good. He's a first round pick in 2017. He's 26 years old. He couldn't have had a ton of points. Oh, never mind. 78 points, 31 goals for a 83 overall two way forward first liner. That's interesting. Okay. On his wing, he's got the veteran Tyler Toffoli, 32 years old. Anthony Mantha, uh, we got another 84 overall. Uh, this guy's a second line center. Wow, that that's, doesn't look very good. Their team doesn't look very good on paper, but they had one less win than us. So, I mean, anything can happen, really. Uh, we got Tanner Pearson. We got uh, Tristan Remberg. We got Francis Ficali. So we got two Francis here. We got Francis Esposito and Francis Ficali. So two third line centers are both named Francis. Uh, 83 overall playmaker, Riley Barber, uh, Brett Connolly, a two way forward there. So you know what? Not bad. They have a left wing playing in the center position. It's a little bit weird, but they have a pretty decent team. I mean, offensively, you got to give it to us. Defensively, you got to give it to us. And goaltending, I mean, you got to give it to us as well. Well, goaltending's maybe even. I think um, on a good day, Oleg is going to be better, but uh, we'll see here. We'll see how this series pans out. Our team looks way better on paper. Uh, let's go here. Jaden Marco, I'm going to really need a lot of you out of the postseason, buddy. I want to go far. All right. I don't want this first round, second round, third round exit shit. I'm bringing home a Stanley Cup. Let me go ahead and turn on the injuries and we're going to hop right into this. I'm feeling good. Let's do this thing. All right, let's go. I'm wasting no time here. We've already wasted enough time going over the lines. I'm ready to go here. Let's go. First period, we are at our home arena in the Subaru Center, Tokyo, Japan. The place is packed. Let's go. First period. All right, 2-1. D'Angelo and Sanford. There you go. Tanner Pearson gets a goal for them before the first period ends. Period number two. Okay, 4-2. There you go. Stroman McIntyre. Tyler Toffoli gets one. We got a two-goal lead going into the third period here. I believe this should be enough. I'd like to get an insurance marker here. Uh, 26 shots for LA, 33 for us. We're on the power play. There you go, Strom with a big power play goal, making it 5-2. to two. He scores with exactly 10 minutes left in the third period. Snipes one on Matt Murray, and that is how this game is going to end. We pretty much dominate them there, 5-2 to two in game number one. Uh, I don't think this series is going to be that hard. I mean, I may have just totally jinxed it, but I think that simulation was pretty lucky with them during the regular season because I don't know with that team I mean I can't see how they had close to 50 wins very very strange but let's go here in game number two let's send a random scout out here go there for six weeks there you go get out of my hair buddy I got more important things to do I gotta win a Stanley Cup here let's go game number two against the LA Kings we're still at home let's go first period oh they come out swinging two to nothing Drew Doughty and Tanner Pearson some original LA Kings there. They didn't like what I said about this series being easy. All right, period number two. Oh, 3 1. Philip Zadna gets one, but to fully gets a second of the series. We're out shooting him 36 to 17. Oh, man. Matt Murray playing amazing right now. And this is what I'm talking about. Maybe you guys are right about Oleg. You know, he's not really giving us what we need to win. I see what you're saying. Three goals on whatever it was, like 18 shots. And uh, unfortunately, we were running into a hot goalie tonight. We have 36 shots. Haven't got a shot in a long time. There you go, 37. Uh, come on, guys. If you get one with five minutes left, we could make a game out of it. But, yeah, this game is all but over, unfortunately. There you go. That makes it 4-1 to one on Oleg. 33 shots to 40. I think we just ran into a hot goalie there, unfortunately. We beat them 5-2 in game one, and they come right back with a 4-1 victory. So maybe I wasn't exactly uh, right on this series being easy, but after game one, it seemed like seemed like we had the uh, edge for sure. But we do have a way better team than these guys, so I'm not too worried here. Series is all tied up at one. We're in LA at the Staples Center, first period. There you go, Gunnarsson on Matt Murray. 15-10 are the shots, period number two. There you go, all right. And Anthony D'Angelo gets his second of the postseason, second of the series, and again, we're out shooting him 30 to 19, but Keating, who is this guy? This guy had 31 goals in the regular season, and Barber scores again. What am I doing wrong with this team? You know what? Maybe you guys were right about Oleg. Dylan Strom, there you go, snipes one on Matt Murray, but maybe you guys were right. I mean, we are, uh, we're getting the offense, but for some reason, I think, uh, 
we're letting in some goals that we really shouldn't be. Um, we only are up by one here. There you go, up by two, Braden Lemieux. 45 shots. Like we should just be, we should be scoring at will here. There you go. Olin gets the empty netter, but another five to two victory. But I think you guys are right about Oleg, and especially Sean Avery's comment. He says that uh, he was being carried by his team, and maybe you guys are right. Uh, just from seeing in this playoff simulation, I think you guys may be onto something. But we're up 2-1 here. I just want to get rid of this series as quick as I possibly can. We beat them in their home arena. We know we can do it. Let's do it again. First period. Okay, we're down by one. Keating, man, this guy, he's just won't go away. 83 overall, but he's a beast. Uh, let's go second period. There you go, Jaden Marco. Your first line center scores. My first line center can do exactly that. 26 to 16. You see what I mean about this out shooting? We are just dominating them. Dylan Strom gets another one. That is his third goal of the series. He is on fire right now. 42 goals throughout the regular season, and uh, he makes it count in the postseason. 30 to 21 are the shots. Come on, guys. you got to hang on for 10 minutes. Get me an insurance marker, please. Jaden Marco, it would be a nice time if you get another one, buddy. Maybe Patrick Laine can come through clutch. There you go, Marty McIntyre, the new playmaker on this team. There you go. 3 to 1. We have a 3 to 1 lead. Olin gets another empty netter, his second in two games. All right. We should have this series in the bag here. We're up 3-1. We're going home. And Esposito has been injured April 25th. Oh boy. Okay, I'm going to go best lines just for one more game. Uh, he's going to be gone for, yeah, for a little while, at least for the rest of this series. That definitely hurts. That hurts our third line. Our Francis goes down, and they still have their third line, Francis. Game number five. Let's end this series at home. Let's go. First period. Okay, 2-1. Strom gets another one, but Keating. Ah, this guy, man. Who is this guy? And Toscala scores. So it's a 2-1 game here going into the second. Okay, 4-3. Olin gets his third goal in two games. McLeod gets one. We actually had to call him up because of the injury. Renberg and Barber score. Okay, we got a one goal hockey game going into the third period. Shots are pretty even, which is something that we haven't really seen uh, throughout this entire series here. That was a big power play that we let go to waste. 31 to 24. Honestly though, Matt Murray has been playing so well. He's facing 35, 40 shots a night. Uh, come on though guys, 35 shots again. We need to find a way to beat this guy. We're only down by one, we can do this. Come on, we're only down by one. Come on guys, four minutes left. Play smart here, get pucks to the net. Oh my god, Matt Murray, just a brick wall right now. All right, well, 40 to 33 are the shots, and they get an empty netter, unfortunately, and we lose that game 5 to 3. I'm getting a little bit cocky. I said we should have this series in the bag, and then we drop the next game. And D'Angelo has been injured April 30th. Oh my god. What is with these injuries? Come on here. That's not good at all. Esposito is back. Okay, we're going best lines for Esposito. I want to end this right now. Come on. We got Esposito back. We are 0 1 without him. He came back early. He wants to play for this team. Uh, if we lose this game, I'm going to have to go ahead and, and change something up with the lines here going into game number seven. Let's go. Game number six. Let's end this bullshit. I don't want to do this anymore. Let's go. First period. Okay. 1-1. One, one. Brady Shade. Nice to see him score a goal. And then Renberg gets his second in as many games. Period number two. All right. 2-2. Two, two. Braden Lemieux and Tyler Toffoli. Okay. For once, we're being outshot here. The last two games, they've really turned it on. Come on. There you go. Brandon Pierlini gets his first of the postseason. That's a big goal. That's a huge goal, actually. 15 minutes left in the third period. Get another one on the power play. Five on three. Come on. You cannot let an opportunity like that just slide away. We're only up by one. Seven minutes left. Come on, Oleg. Please, please hold it down right now. Please. There you go. Patrick Line ices it. I thought they scored there. There you go. We get rid of the LA Kings in the first round. I'm happy. I wanted to rush through that one. I wanted to get the LA Kings out of there as quick as I possibly could. And we did pretty good. It wasn't pretty, but we got it done. Let's see who we have here in round number two. We got the Anaheim Ducks. I don't even know if we've played Anaheim in the postseason. Looks like they got rid of their first round opponent pretty easy. They are uh, have a record of four and one. Let's do a quick little check here of how the first um, the first round scoring went, and then I'm going to edit up all the lines. Hopefully, we'll get D'Angelo back sooner than later. Uh, Brandon Pierlini 
Sweeney always seems to be a playoff performer for us. He has nine points in six games. Last year, if I'm not mistaken, he had a great postseason as well. Him and Strom, they both played awesome. Let's see how he did last year. Yeah, nine points in 14 games. So he already has nine points in six games. That's incredible. There you go, buddy. Dylan Strom, again, having another fantastic year. Gunnarsson with seven points. Nick Letty with five. Luzin D'Angelo hurt. He was on fire. Uh, Braden Lemieux with four. Olin with three. McKinnon with three. Uh, okay, well, Jaden Marco not really performing that great. Only two points in six games, but we're winning games, and that's really all that matters. I'm going to wait until we get uh, D'Angelo back. Hopefully, he's back pretty quickly. We're going to have a look at the uh, Anaheim Ducks roster. I think we have played them once because there's no more Corey Perry. There's no more Ryan Getzlaff. There's none of that. They were the best team in the regular season in our division, though. We were chasing them all year. They had 50 wins. You can see there their defensive rating is sick. They have 92 defense and 91 goaltending. Wow, that is pretty impressive. All right, so the Anaheim Ducks, they have Max Jones, Sam Steele, and Stransky. Now, I know Stransky was up there for points in the regular season. He had 78. Yeah, he had a great year, a career year there. So a left-wing playmaker there playing on the right wing. Uh, they got Cameron Askew. They have an 82 overall, Natanen. Uh, what's this guy like? He's got four points in the postseason, 26 goals for 82 overall. That's pretty impressive. Uh, they got Vladimir Morozov, who had 36 points in the regular season. Okay. They got Shane Prince. They have Manny Shrimp, Nick Ritchie, Carl Hagelin at 36 years old, uh, Kopaka, and Sam Hamnick. So, again, kind of like the LA Kings. They don't really have any star forwards. I assume with that 92 overall defense, it's going to be sick. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, it's not, I mean, I don't know. It's very well balanced. You can see here, Moen uh, with Lindholm, Truba, Cam Fowler at an 89, Vadanen, and Dumba. So it's very well balanced. I think I'm going to give it to them. Uh, Jesus Moen, what a name. I mean, they have Jesus on their team. How can I even contend with that? Uh, no, but it looks like it's a pretty decent team. Looks like it's a very defensively minded team, especially with the 90 overall John Gibson in the cage. And wow, their defense gets better. They have Larson, who's actually injured. Wow, okay, so you'll probably see a player like um, Sammy Vadanin be scratched. Like, how can you even... Where do you even put a guy like that? Wow, that's pretty impressive, actually. Their defense is sick. Unfortunately for us, we still have that defensive injury, uh, which is obviously to D'Angelo. He was on fire in the first round, so I'm really hoping that he comes back sooner than later. But we got bigger things to worry about. We got the Anaheim Ducks in round number two. Let's go here again. Let's waste no time. Let's hop right into this series, and let's get this thing over with. I'm on one path. I'm on one path to glory here. I want that Stanley Cup. The guys know it in the room. My job is on the line. We're under extreme pressure from management, under extreme pressure from, from 10,000 of you guys. Uh, we're under a lot of pressure here. So let's go. Let's see if we can uh, own up to that. Let's see if we can play under pressure. Did it in round number one, and we can do it in round number two. They do have home ice advantage. So uh, we beat one California team. Let's see if we can beat another first period. Ooh, okay, one nothing. Sam Steele on Oleg. Again, we outshot them 16-9. to nine. That seems to be a common theme in this postseason, us getting a ton of shots. And uh, we seem to be outshooting every single opponent. So let's go here, period number two. Okay, we tie it up. There you go. McIntyre and Zadna. Nick Ritchie gets a big goal there. But look at the shots, 29-19. to 19. So we exploded there offensively. Tons of shots on net, which is what I like to see. We're averaging like 40 shots a game, which is crazy. Uh, still at a 2-2 game. Just kidding. McIntyre gets a big goal on the third line. 36 shots. Again, pretty much just hit our 40 shots. There it is. Averaging about 40 shots a game, which is extremely impressive. And McIntyre with two goals getting the game winner. Atta boy. That's what I'm talking about. There you go. Hopefully no big injuries. There you go. That's good to see. And maybe we'll get D'Angelo back. There you go. Perfect. I got to go put him up in the lines and then we're going to hop into game number two. All right. D'Angelo is is back. We're up one nothing. Things are looking good right now. Let's see if we can keep the good times rolling. Let's go first period. There you go. Zach Sanford on John Gibson. 16 to 4 are the shots. 
Man, unbelievable. We get so much rubber to the net. Let's go. Second period. Okay, they tie it up 24 to 14 again with the uh, crazy amount of shots. But again, Oleg, uh, not a lot of shots on net, and he lets in a goal. But it's okay. I have faith in our offense here. We need a big goal. Come on, buddy. We need someone like, uh, wouldn't mind a player like Jaden Marco stepping up, number 88. Come on, number 88 on the ice, number one in our hearts. 32 shots to 19. This has got to be a record of how many shots we're getting. Averaging 40 shots per game. That is ridiculous. 1-1. One to one. Wow, John Gibson. I can definitely see what having a 90 overall goalie does here. But Philip Zadna scores a huge goal. We don't hit 40 shots, but Philip Zadna gets a goal with a minute 8 seconds left in the third period. And another one goal game. That is awesome. Unbelievable. There you go. That's how you got to win your postseason game games down in the very last minutes there you go Philip Zadna makes it 2 nothing. we're back at home in the Subaru Center let's go let's end this thing in four I don't want to go back to Anaheim let's go first period okay there you go Dylan Strong gets a big one 15 to 7 are there shots I'm talking so fast second period okay they tie it up McIntyre gets one but Stransky and Jones 32 to 16 are the shots I'm just going to keep telling you guys every single game how many shots we have because it is ridiculous. Come on, do not, do not allow one right now. Big third period. We're already at the 40 shot mark, almost 39. Come on, come on. There's 40. There's 40 shots. This has got to be some sort of an NHL record. Can we pull out another one minute goal? No, not happening. Going into overtime, the first overtime session we've had all playoffs, and it's against the Anaheim Ducks. 43 shots. At this pace, we're going to put like 70 on John Gibson. 45 shots to 36. Both teams are throwing pucks at the net. Anaheim's almost up to 40 shots. There it is, 40 to 45. 10 minutes left. Big power play. Come on. Olin from the point. Lilia Grin from the point. We need to get that blue line shot. And Brandon Pierlidi scores. There you go. 51 shots. Another one goal game. And we are up 3-0. But Brady Shea is injured. Uh, that sucks. Uh, we should have to edit up the lines. Okay, maybe it's just like a day-to-day -day thing. That's fine. Let's go here. Game number four. I am just rolling through this right now. I got no time to waste. I have one end goal. And I intend to hit hit that let's go first period game number four all right two to one Nathan McKinnon gets one and Morozov and Jones get goals back to back now we're being outshot again something we haven't seen this series 16 to 12 let's have a way better 20 guys let's go period number two. Oh, they get two we only get one Gunnarsson gets a goal and Fowler and Steele score for them unfortunately we're being outshot pretty bad right now but big power play there you go Brandon Pierlini okay Okay, four to three. We cut the lead to one. If we can get one before like the seven minute mark, I will be pretty happy. So we can have a bunch of momentum here going into uh, the last couple minutes. Come on, guys. Eight minutes left. We've almost tied them up in shots. So we've definitely carried the momentum throughout the third period. Come on. Do not let this be another one goal game. If it's going to be a one goal game, I want to have five and they better have four. Again, hit our 40 shot quota. But unfortunately, we fall short. Ah, we don't get the sweep. Put our brooms away. The Anaheim Ducks make it another one goal game. Every single game has been so close in this series. Going into game number five, we're back in Anaheim. The weather's nice, and it's about to be nice when we kick Anaheim out of the postseason. First period. Okay, Jacob Truba scores, and we're being outshot again. Okay, period number two. Oh boy, okay. Martin Jones. Uh, sorry, not Martin Jones. Max Jones. He scores a big goal there. And again, we're being outshot, but McIntyre scores a big goal. That's his third goal of this uh, entire series, so he's on fire right now. There you go. Gunnarsson Baby gets another one. That is a 2-2 hockey game. I believe that was a power play goal. Come on, guys. We could do this. We can do this. No! Sam Steele. You bastard. Why? Come on. That's not cool. We need to get one back, guys. Do not give up a power play goal. They're at 40 shots already. What's been going on these last two games? I think what happened is we got comfortable and we put our foot off the pedal a little bit. And that's definitely, we're paying for it right now. But hopefully we can come back. Big power play. A minute left. Come on, Philip Zadna. Score again. Oh, Cam Fowler ices it. But Pierlini scores with eight seconds left. Fuck, this simulation is so dumb. 
All right, so we're going into game number six here. They forced a game six. It's a little bit scary. I'm gonna have a look at the lines here, see if I can tweak anything. We have a seven and four record in the postseason. I, uh, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a little bit nervous here. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with the lines. Looks like uh, both teams in the East swept their opponents in the uh, semifinals. But, I mean, the lines are good. I've changed them up as best as I could. Uh, Pirellini's doing great. Line A and Gunnarsson could probably be switched. No, they're the exact same. Uh, McEnt I mean, everything's good. Uh, Zach Sanford's got five points. Patrick Line's only got four. Let's try to change it up a little bit. Let's actually, you know what? Let's reward McIntyre. He's been playing unbelievable. And Line A can play on his on his uh, correct wing. So we'll go Line A, Espo, and Sanford, McKinnon, Strom, and Gunnarsson. Then if that doesn't work for game seven, we'll really have to change something up here. But I'm hoping Jaden Marco gets on the score sheet. Maybe he's got a ton of assists. I'm not sure. But let's go here. Game number six, the best team in our division. We had them up against the brink of elimination, three to one, but they've started back with another one goal game. I didn't even realize that was another one goal game. Game six, we're at home. It'd be nice to get rid of them on our home ice. Let's go. First period. Oh, there you go. Three nothing. Line A, Sanford, and Nick Lady. We changed it up a little bit. Line A and Sanford. We alternate their lines a bit. And boom, it definitely pays off. There you go. Three nothing. 19 to eight are the shots. Period number two. Four to nothing. Zach Sanford gets another one. He likes playing with Patrick Line A on the third line 30 to 20 are the shots Patrick Kleine gets another one that third line I may have just found something incredible Hamannik gets a goal on Trasambiev but we're back up to 40 shots almost hitting the 39 there you go there's 41 let's make it six to one boys okay or five to two uh 45 shots to 27 come on guys let's get another one here let's get some more momentum going into round three or not you know what let's keep it the way it is five to two we get rid of Anaheim in six games we did it on home ice. Zach Sanford, three points. Line A, three points. I may have just discovered the next god line. They had three points each, so that's pretty impressive. We're going on to the third round here. I'm going to have to stop and grab a quick drink of water, and maybe I'll tweak up the lines a little bit. We got the Colorado Avalanche, Nathan McKinnon's old team. Wouldn't that be awesome if the, uh, the team that we beat to go into the Stanley Cup Finals is the team that we took Nathan McKinnon from? That would be awesome. Okay, let's have a little bit of a uh, check here on how everyone's doing point wise and then we are going to hop into round number three I've been talking pretty much straight here for like uh, quite a bit like more than half an hour so my voice is dying but look at Pirellini 15 points in 12 games Strom's got 10 and 12 uh, Gunnarsson's got 10 looking for Marco only five points all right buddy you know what again we're winning games so it is what it is Patrick Line has got seven Zach Sanford's got eight D'Angelo's got eight. McIntyre's got nine. He's coming into his own. Maybe since changing him to a playmaker, he has been playing a lot better. Uh, Olin's got four points. Lemieux, Philip Zadna has uh, three goals, and they've been clutch. So that's nice to see. And as for goaltenders, we got uh, we got Oleg there, eight and four. He's got no shutouts, but uh, you know what? Again, we're winning games. I'm not going to pinpoint anyone right now. We're in the third round, which is great. Oh, don't get me wrong. It's awesome. But you guys know what the end goal is I don't gotta explain it to you let's have a look at their rosters and then I will have to take a drink of water because I'm about to so die I don't actually know who they have I know they have Nico Heeshire I think they might have Landis Gog still I'm not a hundred percent sure uh, I'll have to have a look but offensively that's our lines let's have a look at them view opponents let's see here so they, yeah they do have Landis Gog wow 92 overall for Nico Heeshire okay he looks like he's having a great postseason as well. He has like 16 points or something. Uh, sorry, 15 points in 14 games. Uh, but as for the regular season, he's a solid 70-point guy. He looks like more of an assist guy, but uh, he's a two-way forward there, and he's killing it. 92 overall. Wow, their team is sick, actually. Uh, 89 overall, Gabriel Landeskog, who is having a really good postseason as well. Duchesne there on the second line left wing. Uh, they got Mikel Granlund 
and then Arthur Dahlman, who is a left-wing sniper. He was drafted fifth overall in 2020. They got Emerson Edom, who somehow is still in the NHL. They got Tyler Johnson, who's a nice vet. Matt Nieto, uh, Beach, and uh, Paul Marlowe, distant cousin of Patrick Marlowe. But yeah, a very nice team. Definitely the scariest team we've seen in the postseason so far. Defensively, they got Ben Hutton. They got Tyson Berry. They got Hemsky here, who was that. I actually remember this guy being drafted. Uh, he was drafted sixth overall. Eric Johnson still hanging out, 37 years old. The old guy won't go away. Nikita Zadorov and Chris Biggrass. So, yeah, they have definitely the best team we've seen so far. And they got Joachim Mackinen, who I assume is a Finnish goaltender. There you go. Uh, I think the name maybe gave it away there. But he's 25 years old, listed as a stand-up medium starter. So kind of like Oleg, he was drafted fourth overall. Oleg was drafted third. And they got Mason as the backup. So let's go. I got to get a drink of water or I'm going to die. I will see you guys in two seconds when we get game number one underway. Round number three. Let's go against the Colorado Avalanche. I'm a little bit scared because offensively they are really, really sick. And with Oleg, you guys know my concern. But you know what? We've been scoring a lot of goals in this postseason. So I think we can match up with these guys. Let's go. First period. Okay, 2-1. There you go. Pierlini and McIntyre. McIntyre scores another big goal and Pierlini continues his tear. Gabriel Landeskog gets one, but we get two right back. Second period. Oh, 5-2. There you go. Strom gets two. Olin gets one and Dalming gets another. So we got a 5-2 lead here going into the third period. 30-17. to Guess what? We're out shooting our opponent again. Oh my god, this never happened before. Uh, there you go. Almost hitting 40 shots once again. I don't know. There you go. Patrick Lange scores on the 40th shot. Of course he does. 40 is my number for this team. 6-2. Uh, to two. Wow, I thought they were going to be stomping all over us. 7-2. to two. D'Angelo gets another one. Wow, 46 shots and I thought that they were the offensive team, but we explode for 7 goals. Strom had 4 points. Oland had 2 and McIntyre had 2 as well. Alright, Strom. I see. You want to win a Stanley Cup. I like your style. Let's go into game number 2 here. 7-2. to two. What a a giant win again we are on our home ice so we're very comfortable playing in front of our home fans let's go first period I'm getting tired of saying that first period second period uh, Casey Zekas and McIntyre again this guy oh my god scoring at will right now period number two two nothing okay all right uh, we're not out shooting them though well technically we are by one but uh, it's very close it's only by one or two here okay Matt Nieto on the third line gets uh, gets a goal to bring them within one five on three power play and Nathan McKinnon scores on his old team there you go you guys should have never let this guy go to free agency Emerson Edom the third line sniper gets a goal so weird how he's still a decent NHL player nine years down the road Dylan Strom gets another one that is three goals in two games These guys won't go away though back to back to back but Dylan Strom gets the eventual game winning goal 41 shots again I don't think there's been a uh, uh, I don't think there's been I don't think there's been a game where we haven't hit 40 shots, which is honestly super impressive here. Going into game number three, let's go. We are in the Pepsi Center. I can't believe how fast I'm getting through this. I feel like I'm getting a little bit lightheaded here. Let's go. Period number one, the first 20 minutes. It's a tie game. Okay, 16-9 are the shots. Let's go with the next 20. There you go. Patrick Line found a home there on the third line, which is a place he hasn't played a whole lot in his career, but he seemed to be finding some success with Esposito and with uh, my boy Zach Sanford. 35 shots. We may hit 40. Okay, Emerson Edom. That sniper. Emerson Edom. Okay, he gets another one. His second goal in as many games. And we're so close to the 40 shot mark. Pirlini makes it 2-1. There's 40 shots. And that is another victory. We're up 3-0 against the Colorado Avalanche. I'm having a blast. There you go. That's a big, big win. A, uh, another one goal game. 
So let's see if we can close it out here. We are in enemy territory in Denver, Colorado. Let's go. First period. There you go. Nathan McKinnon scores a big goal. Uh, they're out shooting us by one. Let's go. Period number two. Okay, Zach Sanford gets one. We could be going to the Stanley Cup Finals. The freaking Stanley Cup Finals. This is like foreign territory. We don't know what we're dealing with here with the Stanley Cup Finals. 35 shots you could see 40 Patrick line makes it three nothing oh my god we are just a force to be reckoned with right now 38 shots we don't hit 40 which is disappointing but Ole gets a shutout and if we go back here to the first period if you will who had the game-winning goal? Nathan McKinnon had the game-winning goal against the Colorado Avalanche, the team that let him go to free agency. I will take that all day, every day. <sighs> Let's all take a breath here. We are going to the Stanley Cup Finals. After sweeping the Colorado Avalanche, who do we have in the Cup Finals? Whoever it is, just be ready, okay? Be ready for this tear that we're on right now. We have the New York Rangers. This is amazing. This is this is unbelievable. You know why this is unbelievable? Because we traded for a little player you may know, Jaden Marco. I don't know if you ever heard of him. Uh, like 20 years old, like 92 overall, probably one of the best players in the entire NHL. We traded for him from the New York Rangers, gave up like a first round pick and Dougie Hamilton and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, and now, a year, I mean, two years later, a year and a half, two years later, we meet up in the Stanley Cup Finals. This is too good to be true. I cannot believe this. So let's have a look at the playoff tree. Then we'll go into some individual stats. So let's see how New York's done. They beat out the Flyers in six games. They sweep the uh, Ottawa Senators in the second round. They get rid of the uh, Montreal Canadiens in six and then they are on to us in the Stanley Cup Finals. So we haven't played a whole lot of hockey. Uh, you can see there we only played uh, six games, six games plus 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 games. We're already in the Stanley Cup Finals. So it's, uh, I mean, we actually have played the exact same am amount of games as the New York Rangers. Uh, that sweep definitely helped us. We pretty much had the exact same path to the Stanley Cup Finals. We've had one sweep, both teams have, and we've also had two game six victories that's kind of funny that's weird how that worked out but Jaden Marco up against his old team oh my god this should be good this should be really good okay let's go here uh let's see points we all know Brandon Pirellini's on a tear right now Strom's on a tear uh Gunnarsson's killing it we got Nick Letty who's killing it as well McIntyre's doing fantastic with eight goals uh you know what I'm a little bit concerned about is who I don't see uh where is he here uh sorry Jaden Marco eight points only one goal but uh, he's got seven helpers but again we're winning games I'm not gonna worry about it I'm not gonna stress about points I'm very much concerned about the team here and that's it strictly just the team that's all I want I want the team to do well and I will be happy let's have a look at these guys roster I know for a fact that Dougie Hamilton is still pretty good I think he's around like 89 90 overall he was 89 when we traded him so you can see there we have the offense plus six we have the defense minus two and we have the goaltending plus three so that's pretty good uh, I'm pretty happy about that how we match up on paper right there let's have a look at their roster though that might change things up I don't even know who they have uh, obviously it's nine years in so I don't know who would be on this team I know obviously they have Dougie Hamilton but I know they have a few other pretty good defensemen as well. So let's see. They have Kovex, who is, uh, I actually remember this guy. He scored a few goals against us uh, in, I think, one of the first rounds we were in the postseason. JT Miller, 85 overall. And Vigilante, who is a, uh, that's a great hockey name, by the way. He has uh, one goal and 12 helpers. So definitely an assist master. Only 80 passing. I don't know how this game works. Uh, they have Kevin Hayes, who's a veteran. They have uh, this guy, who I have no idea how to pronounce his name, but he's actually pretty good in real life. He's got 10 points throughout the first uh, 16 games of the postseason. Uh, Burkhol, is that how you pronounce his name? Burkhol, where is he from? He's from um, the States, okay. Uh, he is a second liner, left wing, two way forward. They got Matthew Strom, who was a top pick in 2017. Bednars, that's a great name. Hans Bednars, that's an awesome name. Where are you from? You're from Germany. That's a great name, Bednars, I like that. And they got Morgan Clay. 
Klimchuk, who was a first-round pick of the Calgary Flames. That never turned out to be anything. The Vancouver Canuck legend, Lyndon Vay, hasn't scored yet. No surprise. Uh, Adam Lowry there, really good fourth-line center. That's not bad. And Chris Tierney on the fourth-line left wing. There you go. There is the sick defense there. They got Hamilton and they got Irons, uh, Cody Irons, who is a defensive defenseman, but he's a beast. 91 overall. Look at his stats. His He's a defensive master. Uh, yeah, he's going to be a beast. And they have Dougie Hamilton, who is looks like he's having an unbelievable postseason. He had 70 points in the regular season. Oh, my God. I mean, I don't know if that trade was really worth it to trade a franchise player, but... 70 points in the regular season from a defenseman, and he's a point-of-game player in the uh, postseason as well. So, yeah, that's working out pretty good for the New York Rangers. And the rest of their defense really doesn't look that great. They got another Finnish defenseman here, Tarmo, who's an offensive defenseman, but has awful puck skills at two stars. Uh, they got Marcus Peterson, who is a uh, two-way defenseman, six foot four. Uh, Marquart, who is a uh, two-way defenseman, hasn't done anything. And they got LaBelle, who, so I think that they have some injuries. There you go. Let's see. Yeah, they have Jared McCann. That's hilarious. Uh, but that's a pretty good defenseman that's actually down with an injury right now. Uh, Viti Vanino, he is a fifth round pick. What a name. 11 helpers. Yeah, that definitely hurts having him gone. And in the cage, who do they got? Uh, 84 overall, Brendan Halverson. But I mean, you know what? Uh, if I've learned anything in this postseason, it's overalls do not matter. He was uh, 26 and 17 in the regular season, played 50 games. Looks like he split up the time with Antoine Bibo, but he is the man in the postseason. We've seen like 83 overall centers have 30 goals in the regular season so I'm not worried about overalls I think that uh, this is going to be a hell of a Stanley Cup final you can see the badges there on Jaden Marco's sweater on the uh, top left there so let's go Stanley Cup finals baby I cannot wait gotta get a drink of water and we're gonna head right into this thing game number one the Stanley Cup finals we've waited nine years for this nine long hard years we are have home ice advantage you cannot get a ticket for under a thousand dollars right now sorry for under a thousand yen since we are in japan i don't even know how much that is but the tickets are super expensive right now this place is packed the subaru center tokyo japan stanley cup finals let's go first period zero zero okay ten to seven are the shots hey we outshot them that's never happened before Period number two. Okay, 2-1. Two, there you go. Strom and Gunnarsson. They get one with under two minutes left. Again, we're out shooting them. A uh, slim one goal lead here. It'd be nice to get some insurance before we get down to the nitty gritty here. 32-19 to 19 are the shots. That Brendan Halverson kid is standing on his head, out shooting them by 10. Still got that slim lead though, guys. I'd love an insurance marker right now. Come on, Marco. Do it, buddy. You know you want to. We Hit 40 shots and we get out of game one with a two to one lead. There you go. All right, you know what? I gotta just whew, take a breath. I've been talking so fast for so long. We got game one underway. That's all I want, okay? We won game one. That's great. We're one step closer to a Stanley Cup championship. Oh my God, I cannot believe this. Let's go. Game number two. Do the exact same thing. Maybe uh, you get a few more goals this time. I mean, you guys had 40 shots. You ran into a hot goalie once again. Let's go. First period. Okay, 2-1. Again, exact same first period as we had last time. Exact same thing. 16-9 and nine are the shots. Pierlini and Gunnarsson, they've been leading our team offensively for, for the entire playoffs, really. They've been so good. And uh, they get one to start it off. We get two within a minute, which is awesome. So we take all the life from the New York Rangers going into the second. Five to three. Okay, Esposito. Nice of you to show up, buddy. There you go. Pierlini and Gunnarsson again. Dougie Hamilton gets one. He says, we're not going away that quiet, buddy. You traded me, and I'm not happy about it. I wanted to be a member of Team Japan. He wanted to be a part of this. But you know what? It didn't end up happening. We got Jaden Marco, who's been pretty quiet. Oh, shit. They get a big goal. 
Okay, all right, come on, seven minutes left. Big power play, come on, get an insurance marker. Five to four, another one goal game. We are the kings of winning one goal games and we stay the kings of winning one goal games. There you go, a five to four victory. This team, I can't, we're just playing unbelievable right now. Yep, we are definitely firing on all cylinders right now. Gunnarsson and Pirellini have seriously been so good for us right now. Uh, they have been unbelievable. We are up 2-0 in the Stanley Cup Finals up against the New York Rangers. Let's go to Russia. I don't care. Uh, we are at MSG, one of the hardest arenas to play in. If we could go up 3-0... Oh man, I don't know. I'm not going to say anything because I've jinxed it in the past, but uh, I would feel very confident if we went up 3 nothing here. But we are in enemy territory in New York, from Japan to New York, two of the biggest cities in the world. Let's go, period number one. Okay, 2-1, Miller and Dougie Hamilton gets another one, but Timothy Liljegren shows up on the score sheet. There you go. Let's go, period number two. There you go, we come out with the lead, Strom, Sanford, and Nick Letty, and Bednars, what a great name, scores a goal for them. All right, guys, got a one goal lead going into the third period. Again, we are the kings of one goal leads. There you go, Strom again. Strom is a beast. He is etching his name in Stanley Cup history. Both Stroms are scoring goals. Okay, I don't know if even they're related or not. Seriously, I have my hands up right now, like I'm actually there. Uh, we have, again, a one goal lead, 40 shots. Oh my God, you've never done that before. Guys, we have a 3-0 lead. I don't even know if this is real. This could be a dream right now. This is unbelievable. Oh, my God. We're up 3-0. Stanley Cup Finals. It's about to go down. All right. Up 3-0. Let me just repeat that. Okay, let's try this one more time. We're up 3-0 in the Stanley Cup Finals. The Stanley Cup Finals. Now, we've had some Cinderella stories, obviously with McKinnon getting the game-winning goal against his old team. Now, I'm not going to say exactly who, but someone could get a game-winning goal against their old team. I'm not going to say who it is, but you guys may have a clue. Let's go. Times eight for the entire simulation. We're up 4-2 in the shot department right away. 7-2, 9-2, 10-2. Oh my god, we are dominating. 11-2. There you go. They finally get another shot. Uh, but Brendan Halverson playing like a beast right now, stopping all 13 shots he's faced. And it's going to be a 0-0 tie throughout the first period. Let's go. I'm just trying not to sim the whole game here. Uh, resume simulation times eight. Big power play, big power play, 16 to 9 are the shots, 19 11 are the shots. Oh man, no one wants to give up an inch right now, no one wants to do anything. Oh man, a 0 0 hockey game, game number four at MSG. I like to win it at home, but oh no, JT Miller, he says maybe you will win it at home. We're going to send you guys back to Japan. All right, guys, it doesn't matter where we win the Stanley Cup. I just want to win a cup, and so does Patrick Line, baby. There you go. He gets a big goal. All right, he ties it at one. Okay, 15 minutes left. I'm definitely going to go into the actual game here to see Team Japan lift the Stanley Cup we got eight minutes left seven minutes left come on guys oh power play this is it this is it come on come on oh my god four minutes left three two two minutes left one oh my god are we going to overtime oh my god next goal wins I'm going straight into this Holy crap, who's gonna be a hero? All right, here we go. We are in the overtime period here, let's go. Oh my god, this is gonna be insane. Now you, are, now you are seeing the players move quite a bit faster. That's what I had to do to increase the sliders to increase the amount of goals being scored. So you're seeing things don't look as quite legit as you would see. Players are flying out there, but that's how you end up uh, getting the more goals in the uh, in the regular season and more points being scored. Jaden Marco almost ice it, missed the net. Oh my god. All right, this looks like some NHL 94 stuff right now. Come on, no, no, no. Big save there, Trasambiev, out of boy. Number 35 makes a big stop. We got our third line out there. We got Esposito, Line A, and Zach Sanford. Can Espo win the faceoff? No, he gets tied up, and the other Strom goes the other way. Looks so weird when they're moving so fast. Oh, go, D'Angelo! He has a breakaway in overtime. D'Angelo, there it is! Stanley Cup champions, Team Japan, unbelievable! 
It happened! Oh my god! Look at oh, Anthony D'Angelo! What a goal! In overtime, a breakaway, he ices it! Oh, Stanley Cup champions! We did it! Oh my god! I have my arms up in the air, I am ecstatic right now! Woo! We did it, boys! Stanley Cup champions! Holy shit! About time! Who's getting the Con Smythe, baby? Ha <laughs> ha! Oleg Trasambia, the guy who gets all the hate in the world. Look at that good looking guy. There he is. Unbelievable. And the captain. What? That's not our captain. Who is that? Number 87. That should be Timothy Liljegren. Uh, I don't know who that is. It might be Timothy Liljegren. No, that's not his number. Uh, I don't know who the hell that was, but Stanley Cup champions. It didn't even show, that was the worst outro ever. It didn't even show anyone, like, hoisting the cup or anything. That's it? That's all I get? That's whack. I, let's have a look at that goal one more. Let's just have a look at that goal. This is going to be the goal that, uh, that is going to be etched in history. All right, so who is this? We're going to see who exactly screwed up. Strom had the puck. He tried to go back to the defenseman. Oh, that's, that's the guy with the great name. That's, uh... Bednars, that's Bednars, all right? He has the puck, he loses it, it gets fumbled with Strom. Uh, is that D'Angelo who picks it up? It looks like it, yes, D'Angelo picks up the puck and he's gone. Please tell me that's Dougie Hamilton that he burned. Please tell me that's Dougie Hamilton. No, it's not. It's that guy that actually came back from injury. But he's gone. There's no way anyone is touching them. Before you go in and say, oh, you made the the computer slower than you. No, I made everything at equal. I put everything at 95. I can even show you guys afterwards if you really want. I made everything equal at 95. Uh, so 95 speed for absolutely everybody. So D'Angelo's got the break. He's going in. Three guys trailing him. He turns on the Jets. He gets the shot right below the hash marks there it goes off the goalie is that an own goal looks like it goes off the goalie all right it goes off the goalie's blocker uh it doesn't look like it goes in off the defenseman uh it kind of jumps over his skate you can't really see it because all the snow but it looks like it just hit off of hit off d'angelo like right right here it may have hit off d'angelo no it hit off the goalie's stick Oh my god, one of the worst overtime playoff goals ever, especially to win the Stanley Cup. Oh my god, that sucks. Poor guy. But we win. Oh my god, we win the Stanley Cup. We did it. Oh, that is unbelievable. Back-to-back -back sweeps. We win eight games in a row, all right? Every single game was a one-goal game here as well. Eight games in a row. Team Japan, Stanley Cup champion. Look how great that looks. That's beautiful. That is the most beautiful thing I have ever seen in my entire life. That is nine years of hard work and dedication put into this. Blood, sweat, and tears. Oh my god. Brandon Pierlini was a point of game. Strom was a point of game. Gunnarsson was almost a point of game as well. He's killing it. McIntyre, 16 points. He really came into his own after changing him into a playmaker. So to the guy who told me to change him into a playmaker, sorry, what's your name? Joshua, you are a good man. You are a good man. Patrick Laine with 14 points. Zach Sanford with 13. Jaden Marco with only 9. But you know what? He wins the Stanley Cup at age 19. That's going to give him all of the confidence in the world to just dominate for the next 20 years and having a look at the goaltenders there he is love him or hate him Oleg Trasambiev he turned it on he turned it on in those last eight games a 2.22 goals against average don't be surprised if he led the league in goals against average no he didn't Brendan Halverson did but uh, I mean 2.22 is really good considering I turned up all of the stats so everyone has like 95 shooting everyone has 95 skating oh my god stay Stanley Cup champion. It's a beautiful thing. It seriously is. I want to thank you guys for going on this journey with me. We're not done yet, though. I want you guys to let me know. I've talked about a few things, actually, before I end off this one particular video. I'm going to actually sim the draft, and uh, we're going to check out a few more things, and I have some ideas to run past you guys. You know, one thing I forgot to do, and I said I was going to do it at the start of the video, was bring up my man, the guy who's been here since the start, Sam Gagne. Now, it's interesting because he didn't retire. I'm not even making this up. He's going to be 38 years old. So 
oh, maybe he's upset with me. Maybe he's like, man, I thought you were going to bring me up, man. What the hell happened? Uh, okay, well, maybe we can do it next year, if there is going to be a next year. Uh, I'm sorry, man. I was so caught up with that, I didn't even think. Oh, man, that sucks. I'm sorry. I really am. I apologize. Man, I really wanted to do that for Sam Gagne. I wanted to see him hoist the Stanley Cup. But what's with the Stanley Cup celebration? That is brutal. Uh, you can see here, Steven Stamkos is now retired. He has 1,300 points in 1,300 games, so more than a point a game, which is pretty impressive. Uh, Pacioretty, Carlson called it quits. He had uh, almost 1,000 points, just one shy of 700 assists. That bothers me. I don't like that. They should have got one more helper for him. Uh, have a look at the goaltenders who called it quits. Uh, Sergei Bar Broski, he's on the case. Tuka Rask also called it quits. Uh, he had a total wins of 318, which is pretty good. Varlamov's also gone. Ranta and Tokarski's gone. I don't know how he's even still in the NHL. And everyone else is all but gone. So... Now we've won a Stanley Cup. That's great. Everyone's happy. I'm happy. You guys are happy. Everyone seems to be happy. Well, now what? Do we continue on for a few more years or do we leave out on top? Do we stop the GM right now? But there'll still be updates. Either I'll stream the game every once in a while or I'll play it on my own and have some updates. It's really going to be your guys' call. So I want to get a bunch of good comments going on there in the comment section. I want to see what you guys are feeling. I mean, I want to continue this. I'm having a blast. I've had a blast since the start. It's been a little bit frustrating that we haven't uh, we haven't produced as much as I wanted to in nine years. But you know what? I uh, I'm happy with everything right now. I'm super stoked that we won the cup. It's uh, it's what I've wanted since the start, and we did it in style. That's for sure. Doing it against Jaden Marco's old team. But uh, we could either stick with the GM, continue doing this for you know the next five, ten years, have some fun with it. I've never seen a YouTuber do a GM for more than like ten years. So. So we're at the 10 year mark now. Do we call it quits? Call it a 10 year GM? Go out on top like a Cinderella story? Or do we go for more? Do we go for the dynasty? Or we have one of three options here. We could continue this. We could go start a new GM mode uh, for just like a random team, just a regular GM mode. Nothing crazy, no Japan, none of that. Uh, no fantasy draft, nothing like that. Or actually, I guess we have a couple options. So we could do this way. We could do a regular GM mode with a regular team. We could do a fantasy draft with a regular team or with an expansion team. Or, or, listen to this, we could do a Legend GM mode. I've done them every single year. Uh, I have some ideas for this Legend GM mode if we want to do it. I mean, it's not going to say we are do it, but every team would get two Legends as opposed to one. It would be a legit GM mode, just every team would have two 93-plus overall Legends. So, for example, like Colorado would have Patrick Waugh and, P and Peter Forsberg, or... Uh, for example, Carolina would have Rod Brendamore and Arthur's Urbe. I want to make cool legends. I, don't, I, don't, I really just don't want to give like the best players. I want to make some cool, some cool unique legends. And everybody would have franchise high potential, so everyone would be insane. Uh, I think it'd be a lot of fun. You guys can let me know though. We have a few options. Uh, let me know how you're feeling in the comments. Uh, you guys can just go nuts in the comments. Give me a woohoo. Give me a thumbs up in the comments. Show me how excited you are. Stanley Cup champions baby let's go i just want to see here throughout some overalls so it looks like pierlini went down after leading our team in scoring i don't know why uh strom's up to an 86 gunnerson's still at 86 mcintyre's up to an 86 line is 87 mckinnon's 91 sanford's 86 still i just want to see if anyone went up d'angelo scored the overtime stanley cup winning goal olin's still 87 lily a 91 Jaden Marco is still a 91, but don't be surprised if Marco is like 96 by the end of uh, by the start of next year. He's going to be so good for us. Now the question is, did Oleg go up or down? He should be 86. Yeah, still 86 overall. But things could change by the draft. Uh, let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments down below. I know it's a lot to bring in. Stanley Cup champion. Now what do we do? Do we move on? Do we continue this? I'm ecstatic. Thank you for watching. Team Japan Stanley Cup champions.